Hi, I'm just here to do my review for um, Arsenal to Leeds nil. Um, overall, it was just a sloppy game for me. You know, um, no control of the midfield, um, losing sloppy passes. But I didn't really have too much an expectation other than a win. I think that's just, you know, um, our B team. They haven't really played with each other for a long period of time. Um, so it's just one of those things where I, I kind of expected those things to happen. Um, uh, other than that, it just honestly felt like a basketball game. You know, um, Lee's just kind of counter-attacking in an 18-yard box and we're counter-attacking them. It was just one of those um, games overall. Um, I think another player that definitely stood out for me again was probably Ben White. I know that when we speak about Ben White, the first thing that kind of comes up is his price, the 50 mil. I think the way that he's been performing, he hasn't really put a wrong foot in, a uh, wrong foot um, in at all other than the Brentford game. I think that he's just performing and improving left, right and centre. I think it's the way that he progresses the ball or a, a ball carrier that he is from my 18 yard box or um, 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 uh, to the midfield or the other opponent's 18 yard box. It's just another element um, to his game. Even the way he kind of pings the ball on the left central or the right side, the weight, uh, the, the weight of the pass is just for me class. So um, I was just quite worried that he got injured. I just thought that it was kind of a wrong move. Like, I know we wanted to win, but um, you don't want your first 11 to get injured in any shape or form because I don't want a repeat from last season where we knew who our first 11 was. But if any of them got injured, the whole structure, the whole play just kind of breaks down. So kind of reading the report, reports a couple of um, minutes back, it was just a little niggle. He'll definitely be fine for Leicester. So I was quite relieved from that. Um, another person that really caught my eye was um, Niles. I think that he improved, especially in the midfield. I think that his um, intensity was just um, an improvement from overall because it was something that he generally struggled with for the time being. Um, his positional awareness, his reading of the game, especially in the midfield, um, cutting up the lines, um, just winning his drills. I'm ge just generally happy for him um, to kind of get the minutes under the belt. And I think another one was um, um, Eddie. Um, I was quite kind of struck back from it because i'm sitting here like he's a player that's um, either gonna leave in february or gonna um leave at the um, end of the season because he doesn't want to sign a contract or anything of the sort i think that it was for me personally a bad move because why would you give um minutes to a player that's gonna leave you might as well just give it to balligan to get um the minutes uh, or the development that he needs in it um but watching him play, I've just seen the comparison from last season um, till now. I think that there's generally um, an improvement overall. Um, I think that he's just better. Um, the improvement from back to goals. He's dribbling with so much confidence. Um, it, it's just whoever gets him is going to get a developed um, player. So I'm just generally happy for him and the team um, to get his goal. And I generally didn't want to like end this on like a negative note, but I think another person that I'm kind of like don't have patience for anymore. I think that uh, Pepe is definitely up there. I think that this is his third season with us, so I might be wrong. Um, I think it's the basics that just kind of gets you frustrated, or personally me, that gets, gets me frustrated. I think that when we're in transition, he kind of just kind of... Uh, his first, first touch lets him down. His decision-making that moment lets him down. And we honestly can't afford to be doing that. Like, we can't really hold his hand in a way um, to kind of get those things in the bag. I think especially the profile of player he is or the age level he is. Those things, it's either you had at a young age or you got um, your development in it um so we can kind of help you with the position the positioning um the reading of the game other than that you should have had it in your bag um for me personally the sooner that we sell pepe 
the better it is for both parties. I think that um, whatever team that he plays for, that kind of suits his style of play of freedom, um, uh, open space and counter attack is definitely going to bring the best out of him. But for uh, for me personally, I can't really afford to kind of, you know, um, him kind of killing the rhythm or the style of play because um, he couldn't get the basics right. Uh, for me personally, even when um, Saka is having a really shit game, I prefer to put him in because he at least gives you balance and poor ball progression to it. Um, but overall, um, sorry, before I end it, I think another worrying signs that I saw was probably Gabriel. I think that the injury definitely enhanced um, or kind of, um, uh, I think that, sorry, the injury in itself kind of pulled him back a bit because it it was just a sloppy sloppy game for him i know that his pressing is probably one of his elements but it was just one of those things where if you haven't played for a long period of time i don't expect you to kind of pick up form straight away in a whole 90 minute game but i just don't see him getting in front of anyone i don't see him getting in front of Bamiyang or lacazette and i don't see him playing in the wings because it's either um smith uh, Saka or Pepe um, I think that he definitely needs a loan to kind of um, build his confidence up um, to kind of get more development in his game because I don't think so that he's going to get much out of it or sitting on the bench um, so the sooner we can get that done the better it is for us because when he comes back he'll just be a different beast but it's just one of those things we're just very limited we play once a week we have our starting 11 and the competition that we're in it's very limited or you have to wait a few months um so yeah so thank you for listening to my video